Hello and welcome to All My Art and Soul. I'm Michelle Holden, the mixed media artist behind the channel. And this week, as you can see, I'm just letting my journey of three paintings have more of a rest as they need. And this week I thought I would do a affirmation journaling page. So it's all about letting go so I can have, um, uh, make space for new beginnings. And that really resonated with me. So I like to uh, start writing all of the messages and energy and intention on the page first. If you have not ch checked out my affirmation art journaling pages, I have a whole category on my channel. And um, I will leave a card here for the first of many. And you can check around my channel to see. So I like to use a graphite pencil. This is a china marker. Um, write in different um, sizes. But I really like this one really needed a lot uh, of repetition. So as I said... Um, if you haven't followed The Journey of Three Paintings, um, check that out. It's on my channel under the Mixed Media. And those are resting. And next week, I will be finishing. I believe it's the last part, the final part. It might be part four or five. Um, anyway, those are getting quite complex. And I'm deciding to make a big move or not. So... Um, some of you will like what I do, some of you might be shocked, but it's a thing that I need to do. And that's all about letting go, letting go what's there, cover it, let it be. And um, I just need some more time for that. And uh, I think, I believe that's why I need to do this journaling page. I'm missing my journaling pages. I really need to get back to an almost or a daily or almost daily routine. And I will be in the new year. So stay tuned. And I may even start another 30-day affirmation art journaling um, invitation. Um, I don't believe it's a challenge. It shouldn't be a challenge in that way. It just should be uh, inviting. So th these are the papers that I was experimenting last week in my Facebook group. And I'm going to be using the turquoise. It's sort of a lime green. Uh, the other is a teal. And they're all, I believe, Liquitex basics. And they're a really nice heavy body. One is parchment, black, and of course, the titanium white. And I just thought I would just mix right on the page and just cover up my words and see what happens. As usual, I like to pre-select just any colors or collage papers that resonate with me for this particular uh, art journaling session. And I'm really liking uh, the sort of, it reminds me of Key Lime and uh, Key Lime, Key West, <laughs> all of that neat stuff. So now that the weather is a lot colder up here in Ontario, Canada, um, thinking about uh, these colors, they're cool, but they're very aquatic. And um, I wanted to do some colors that sort of went with these collage papers that I've been really learning to do with a lot more layering. So if you have not yet joined the Facebook group, um, I put up a Studio Sunday video, just a quick one, 10 to 15 minutes or so, on uh, any new technique that I'm learning or relearning or sharing, and uh, it's rather fun. So, I like the circle, I like the positive and negative space. Some of these are ghost prints that I've then re-stenciled. Mm -hmm. 
I'm just drinking and sipping on some water, so then I do not have to cough and have to start the editing process of this video over again. So if you hear some slurping, that's what I'm doing. My apologies. So this is a sort of a yellowish, really cool color. But when I put it on, it was way more transparent than I thought. And then I really didn't like it, but it doesn't really matter because I'm just going to cover it again. And I've been dying to use this. Let's see, what paper is this? It is the more delicate deli paper printed. Um, I believe that's a ghost print of string because the first one was very black of course and this one turns out way better the ghost prints i really like better and then if you put other layers on top and you just keep going just like our artwork um, you need to keep going with your collage papers um, to make them more interesting and more you more of your voice shines through when you do that with your shapes, your marks, your color choices. And then they look so much better on the artwork that you're including them in. And making sure I don't put those two on the same plane. They're close, but I didn't want them on the same plane. And, you know, hindsight is, you know, but that's pretty cool. I did, didn't, it didn't look right higher up, but it didn't look right lower and that is another collage with my with the catalyst wedge, the toothed catalyst wedge on the jelly plate. And I was just um, looking for another protector for my jelly plate because it finally, every time you know you peel it off, it's a very hard plastic. I think it was the plastic it came in in the packaging. And when I put the jelly plate on a, um, a piece of glass, which is a cutting board, you know, the smaller size that you get with the glass cutting boards. And that's the same thing, <coughs> excuse me, that I use for my palette that you see on the right of my art journaling pages. And this piece of plastic finally snapped from all of the wear and tear. So I need to get a really nice piece of um, very uh, pliable plastic that can peel away and protect my jelly plate. So here you go, there's my circles done with the pipe, little pipe stamp that I love. And it, they just really suited because they're very small. These are circles, positive, negative. And this piece, I want it to overlap somehow. So I'm just finding the perfect spot, not there, it's there because the upper area just needs some more line. And I'm just checking, just making sure there that I'm, I've got the right spot. And I didn't want to cover those shapes. I could push them back, but in another way. So let's see where I end up putting this. And please stay to the end. And if you are enjoying this content, I think I have, oh, way over 150 videos. Um, now I have quite a choice of videos for you to watch, uh, different category, categories, and I know I still only have the one color one, and I've been so busy with other things, you know, teaching and all of that. Um, over the Christmas holidays, I am going to add to that uh, category. So abstract art journaling of Earth and Sky series, Affirmation Art Journaling Channel a Challenge 30 Series, and of course the Mixed Media, Mixed Media Abstract. So there's lots to look at, different lengths. My early ones were a lot of time lapse, but uh, I really still like those. So what I like to do there is continue that line from that other surface, and um, it creates a unity, you know, in the background of that nice lime kind of color going on and this is a very uh, gold uh, special paper in those packages of just pieces that you buy in different warm or cool colors it's amazing it's like a surprise you never know what you're going to get and they're very inexpensive our curry's art store 
Um, I haven't been there in so long because I've been ordering online or just sticking to my more general area to the Michael store in, in Ontario. That's the art stores that we have. And of course, I make the odd order to Amazon. But uh, um, those, that's where I get those papers, curries. So I'm thinking of, this is sort of like a yellow. It's okay. I like the shape. But I'm, if it went all the way down, that would have been interesting because it would have made that, that nice round shape peak around the corner. It would have pushed it back some. And in hindsight, this is a hindsight judgment now, that would have looked great. Now I could have painted the same kind of shape in, but then I decided I didn't want so much yellow. Um, but since it's a lighter value and close to that really light lime color there, that's why it, it looked good there. So making sure, um, or not, see that would have been okay, but I don't like that kind of two circles together like that, um, symbolism wise. So then I thought, okay, what about those real faint circles? But then, of course, my table is a complete mess that you don't see off camera. So I just grabbed the paintbrush thinking that would work. So no, it doesn't because the paint loves to get in and underneath the stencil edge. So this is where I almost lose you never almost lose anything. It just takes takes a shift, takes a turn. Because it got messy up there, I end up covering this with another very thin or transparent uh, piece of collage. And it's really, really cool. So this one needed, I needed some vertical. I've been looking around for my stencils and there is my cardboard corrugated cardboard makes the most interesting lines when you lift them up. They're so inconsistent. I really love that as a layer in front and just pushes those circles, that layer back just enough. Now, let's see. The top is okay. I could go black. I could go with a darker color, a thicker shape. Um, but you know, in the moment, sometimes you don't see these solutions as easily when you've spun out and let it sit for another half hour or an hour. And that's what I'm doing with my journey of three paintings. Um, I've got so many interesting things going on. I am learning to let go and I will need to let go of some of them. That would have looked cool. But then I decided to go with the round. And I still have that piece that I may or may not put on there, but for some reason, it just, I know that's what my, I, I like to do in all my work. So as you can see, I'm trying all these other things. I'm trying to do something different. Now the lime, this is just your colored tape, um, just scrapbooking stuff, but I just didn't want that. It just, it didn't do it. So negative, that might have worked. More up there, but too much the same. So, and I love that, I love that page. I'm gonna do a lot more. And there's a two great, the two 24 by 24 that I've been working on on the side that I haven't been showing. Um, I've just been taking uh, just still shots, so uh, I have to have something that I don't record, I've, I've learned. So this is, this is a lesson that I've learned. I do believe it is ink, and sometimes it smudges and sometimes it doesn't because I've used the other side. Didn't realize this until I started spreading that on. See, there you go. So it is ink, so it smudges. It didn't smudge on another page because I probably use the other side, the opposite side of where the ink is. 
And now as I try to rub uh, things off and try to clarify the smudging, um, the paper is so delicate that it is interfering with the previous layer that I put on and it ends up getting torn. Some of it gets torn off. But don't worry, um, watch it to the end. I have another piece uh, from that piece that I cut from and it goes on and it looks so cool. But before I do, I'm going to use some of that turquoise there go with a darker or medium value. Um, could have went black, could have really exaggerated and pushed it black and then did a light on top of the black. There's another way, which I probably should write some notes next to this page now that I, and I have it right in front of me here. And it really turned out cool. So here I go with this and realize, uh, I don't know. Anyway, I'm just covering up that layer, but I don't overdo it. I still love that line. So I maintain that really cool line that is string of a ghost print of the jelly plate printer. String makes really, really cool lines. And then I'm doing a little bit of brayer, my smaller brayer, and realize that it so needs something. Now, I could have gone two ways. A solid piece of uh, collage paper to cover it right up and then did some stenciling right over it. But instead, wait for it. Oh, it's gonna take time drying this, so I might as well talk you through it. So as this is drying, I'm also noticing the edges of the paper that are going to interfere with the tape once I start peeling it. So you have to make sure you use and have a sharp X-Acto knife, unlike the one that I have. Uh, I love the knife, there it is. There's the piece right there. So it's the opposite. It's just the continuation, and maybe that's why it looks really, really good, or I think. And the lines continue a little bit. But when I start pacing it down, a lot of the turquoise shines, th uh, shows through the paper. And that's why I love thin or transparent paper. I haven't experimented enough with tissue paper. Um, I think it's a little stronger in, in its being able to handle and I just don't know if it's as transparent. I know it is fairly transparent, so I really need to um, uh, experiment with those. So I think I will be doing that for my Facebook group, which is um, every Sunday, Studio Sundays. So the same day that this video comes out is my Studio Sunday. So make sure you hop over to the Facebook group and that's where my tutorials are beginning. So here's my wonderful X-Acto knife. <laughs> but the paper is so delicate, um, I'm wondering. Um, so I will test that theory once I get some new fresh blades. I've tried snapping these blades and they, they seem to be the same. Yeah, there I am. Uh, I need new blades. <laughs> So as I add, and in the photo at the end, you can see a little bit of the sheen because it, the, it did curl a little bit. But once, I, um, once it's in the book and it's closed, it'll flatten down. Yeah, you can see the shine now. And uh, I just really love how these marks turned out. Now in the end, and I didn't show off camera, um, you'll see in the photo, but it's very subtle at the end. I just get the same lime pastel uh, crayon and I make some lines up above after that gloss has dried and it was just enough lime green to add that subtlety that was needed. And uh, I wanted to keep this page fairly simple. So I think I achieved that. 
uh, in a roundabout way, mind you. But, you know, that's how these things happen. So now I'm just trimming. And this is cutting better because it's dry. So, of course, that didn't work because the paper was still very, very moist. And now I am warming up the tape. And I know that this hair dryer is small and easy to use, but it doesn't get as warm as uh, a better one. So in the future, I will see. I don't. Um, I was using my big one that I use for my hair, but it's just so powerful. It just blows everything everywhere on my table. That's the other thing. <laughs> so it, <laughs> this was quite a chaotic page behind the scenes as I am not feeling my best. So this is another reason why for this week, is I, oh, I'm only up to doing a page, but I really like how this page turned out, even though it was quite a little bit of a struggle uh, today. So I hope uh, you got something out of this, uh, this week's video. <laughs> if not watching me struggle along Yes, we continue to struggle along. That never ends. So I am learning, but I really love that turquoise on the top of the page. It is really cool. Okay, here we are. And I'm not naming this one or numbering it because it's not a channel. I just, affirm, it's just an affirmation jour journaling page and the date. So I hope you enjoyed this week's video. And um, don't forget to like and subscribe and share. And I will see you in the next one.